Um, and we're not talking like, you know, a hundred miles. What was it like? 400 miles that people were coming if not farther because I had you from Iowa uh, Becky was supposed to come she was in Texas Tina was coming from Oklahoma mom was coming from California uh, his uncle was coming from Nevada and then who came from here Anne was my other bridesmaid she was coming just from Washington, like 20 minutes. Um, but it was like everything went wrong. Like uh, her husband had a job interview in Spokane. And then everybody, I think, got sick on top of it. So they couldn't make it. And then you uh, went bowling with a deer and wrecked the car. Um, Tina made it. Oh, Kalo ended up going, and then Jerry and his went, and those were the ones that I could have done without. Did anyone else? Yeah, because Mom flew into Eugene because we were there in Newport. It was nice. I was like, there's no air conditioning in this house. It's June, July. We got married in July. I never remember. Um, and, um, oh, it's going to be hot, but oh my gosh, it was just beautiful. And the night or the day before I found the, uh, place to get married. And so it was just, it was, it was what it was. And then. You didn't find where you were getting married until the night before. What? You didn't find where you were going to get married on the beach until the night before? Yeah. Wow. Tina and I went out and we were driving down the coast trying to find them because I didn't want to go too far. And then I almost accidentally offed myself. Um, so Jerry and I went out later um, and he just wanted to play 20 questions. And um, But we ended up finding it. But there was this really pretty place and it had... It wasn't a cliff, but it, it was a good distance, but there's a sign, and I guess it's a famous place where these two guys were standing on the rock and got swept away, both of them um, ending up getting uh, killed by the situation, and they were found, I think they said, miles down the coast. That the, the And I'm standing on these rocks. I did not see the sign until after. And there's a video, I'll have to show you sometime if I can find it, where I'm taping as the they're coming in and it's hitting pretty hard in between these crevices of the rocks. And I'm watching and it just shoots up and I ended up not soaked, but pretty wet. I was like, so I got off the rock and I was like, and this is how, and then we found the sign that said, don't go stand on them really. <laughs> but that one was like in Waldport, which was a bit far Oh, and then Anthony, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Anthony had a friend who lived in Walport, um, and so him and his wife came up for the wedding also. But I just did a potluck. I was like, I'm going to do pulled pork, like Hawaiian, uh, some macaroni salad, and I bought cupcakes. I was like, you know what? I'm not doing them. It's the one thing I can save on. And other people decorated the back for me. They did it, and uh, Mark ended up driving us around until they could get it, everything set up. So in Newport, we ended up, oh, they had gotten a bottle of sake. I'd already gotten all the alcohol the night before and what have you, and uh, I uh, we ended up at Walmart because there weren't dishes for sake. And I was like, really? And it, so we looked funny walking through Walmart. But Anthony just looked like he was dressed for Hawaii. I'm in a dress. Like it was very apparent that we were getting married. <laughs> I was like, okay. We did walking tacos. Um, because we had quite a few vegetarians. Um, or not, yeah, I mean vegetarians. Um, so we had to do something that would work both ways. So we did walking tacos. Um which I cooked all the taco meat. I was like 25 pounds of meat, at least 25 pounds of meat. Um, 
before the wedding. It was not not fun. And then um, his cousins who live in Guam came, and they were in town for something like to visit family, but they they came to the wedding. So um, that was the farthest I think um, guests that we had. But they didn't come specifically for the wedding. They were already here. Yeah, it's definitely interesting because at one point I had the rings in the lockbox and I thought I left the keys in Milton. Oh, no. And I have never actually said the town I live in. Oh, well. Um, anyway, and so I was like, oh, no, I'm going to have to find someone to break into my lockbox. No, I found them. They were in my suitcase, but I had been packed a month prior. Thank you, OCD. <laughs> and so, yeah. And then going home was awful. Like, I was tired because we left when mom left. So, um, we all checked out at the same time. And so, was that right? I think. Now I don't feel like that was right anyway. So, I had to go back to Eugene, which is two hours south, just to go, you know four hours north and then I still had to drive another four hours it was awful and I don't know what was going on but every hotel was booked except for one in oh where is it there's a gas station junction and there's like one there's two gas stations like a subway and McDonald's and this uh hotel which actually was pretty nice is it Biggs that's out on the highway? I think it's Biggs. And we ended up staying there, which was only, what, another two hours from home? But I couldn't do it. I hurt so bad. I was so tired. And I was like, I'm so yeah. done. And then we couldn't find anything. We still haven't had a honeymoon. Yeah, we, we're we not... I don't think we're, we're... We'd like to go to Germany this coming year. Um... But I don't know if we're going to be able to do it um, as, like, a delayed honeymoon. Yeah, I wanted to go to Seattle because I've flown to Seattle, but I've never actually, you know, done stuff around Seattle. There was a really cool thing that I saw that I told Joe that I wanted to do for a honeymoon, and I saw it. It was, like, on Facebook where you tell these this company, like, how much you want to spend, and... Um, they plan like everything for you. Like you decide if you want it to be like an adventurous type thing or a relaxation and they plan everything. Like you, they mail you a kit and, and like if there's flights involved, it has your flight information, but like you have no idea where you're going or what you're doing until the day of. And I thought that was kind of cool because um, Joe is very much like an outdoorsy person mm -hmm. and I'm very much let's just go and eat instead so this was kind of someone else dictating what we were going to do versus one of us and I really like that idea but um he really wants to go to Germany and I think I would have fun in Germany aside from the flight but um so yeah I think that's that's what the goal is um but yeah the, the day of I mean I came home it it went by so fast like we had to call the cake the, the bakery that did the cake and we were we told them to deliver the cake at four, mm -hmm. and the wedding started at one, and it was done by one thirty, and so everybody was done eating by like two thirty. So we called them. We're like, um, if we're like the last delivery, like you can bring it early. That's okay, because <laughs> I thought that it would take so much longer to do, and it didn't. And so, um, yeah, we were home probably by like six o'clock that day, and I passed out right away. Like probably too much information but I did not consummate my marriage on my wedding night I passed the F out <laughs> yep we went to sleep at midnight when everybody the extra people who weren't staying in the house left and we didn't either I was like it was the next morning kind of situation I was like oh I was really tired but I was I really leading up to it I was like oh yes on my wedding night like in my wedding dress like we're gonna get down and no. The only thing that got down was my head hitting that pillow. Oh, um, yeah. I slept. Well, plus we had we, we had the kids here, and I had asked family. I was all like, will you just take them for the night? Like, it's my wedding night. And no one would let the kids stay at their house that night. So, I mean, there was a few factors that went into it. But I think even if we had the house to ourselves, I still probably would have passed out right away. Yeah. 
yeah because it's a lot of stress and then when everybody leaves and and whatnot it's like a let down and you're like and i'm gone <laughs> yeah <laughs> and scene <laughs> fun stuff so this transition from how we met <laughs> to <laughs> weddings <laughs> we, we can never stay on topic for very long Nope, but it's okay. I know how to cut it. And if you ran out of money, we can just, we'll just the same day double up and put, I'll put the video on both of our channels. Ran out of money? <laughs> Memory. Um, it caught most of it. But I definitely need to, see, it was my fault because I did a get ready with me video because apparently I thought that it would be a worthwhile video, but I mean, I'm obviously not a beauty guru, but apparently I thought I was. <laughs> so um, I had that on there and I should have had it emptied before I started, but for, I didn't, so. Yeah. Sorry, Anthony's co-worker's like, we're having drinks tonight. And I was like, dude, we're broke. She's like, appetizer and drinks are on us. And I was like, whatever. It doesn't sound like I can't say, or I can say no. And she goes, no. Well, are you coming? I was like, yes. That's fun. Yeah, I guess. He really likes working here, so. Be careful with your alcohol. Uh, I remember he's night blind, so I have to drive, so that and I don't typically drink. I did drink the other night when I came in Sunday night. Um, it's this cute little, it's like this tall and it looks like a ball. Um, and it's just this little thing of alcohol and, um, what was it? It was like green apple and it reminded me of a Midori sour. Oh my God, there's a story. When we went out for my 30th birthday, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Playing pool. I remember that. Is that what we were doing? Is that what we are going to call that? <laughs> oh, they're there. Uh, what was that drink? The AMF? The Adios motherfuckers? Yeah. Sorry, my name. I know, and supposedly you can't get through one and a half, and I ended up drinking three. Ugh. And I swear the photos. Huh? If it, if it was you, because there's a problem when I go out with people, that I don't let people's drinks get empty. So did you go through three by choice, or was I shoving drinks in your face? Um... So I know you had drank, so I ended up with like two and a half. It was a weird amount. So you had drank part of one and then gave it to me. And then I remember going home with uh, Buttface McGee driving me, obviously, because I, I was too inebriated. Yeah. Because the pictures, the pictures are perfect. Do you remember? Because they started off okay, but then they started getting blurrier the more we drank kind of situation. And I remember your mom being there. Was Joe there? I think he made an appearance, yeah. Yeah, because... I don't think he stayed very long. Yeah, because I remember... I vaguely remember him. I remember Buttface McGee, too. But, like, I don't remember him really being there either. Like, I feel like it was your mom, you and I. Kind of like the divorce party. Yeah. Um, where it was just, like, us doing stuff. And I remember driving home and it was a Justin Bieber song and I had the speakers blaring in the minivan as we were going to my house. And I think it was Girlfriend and I was just like rocking out to it. You were always bumping music in that van. <laughs> I know, I thought I was cool. <laughs> and now I have ravers well, in my front room. Friggin' Ooga horn. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, so there's a lot of funny stories. Because remember the the night where I smacked you, I remember screaming through the house. I remember not being able to get up the front stairs to get into the house and you smacking me on the butt. And then I remember 
you went to the front bedroom. I had to go upstairs still, and I remember swimming like a fish because I had silky pants on and had basically crawled up there um, and refused to stand. I don't remember exactly why, but I remember screaming, I love you, to you, and you screaming it back. <laughs>